I grew up in Calumet City, Illinois, home of the Smiling Towers. It's a small city bordering the far south side of Chicago, an area better known for its seedy nightlife than its thousands of acres of forest preserve. As soon as I was able to get around on my own, easy access to the forest was a great part of my growing up. It was the large field by my house, Lincoln Field, and the surrounding forest that I was drawn to. This huge open space was a natural playground. As a kid, I thought it was a giant jungle. What else would a kid think? When I was nine years old, we moved from Calumet City, Illinois to Hammond, Indiana. Two towns next to each other, but different in a lot of ways. The area of North Hammond was just across the state line and less than two miles away. The house I moved into was nice enough with the big yard and everything, but I didn't know this area and didn't realize that exploring the wilderness was relegated to the few pockets of nature left over from the massive commercial developments. These areas seem to end abruptly at fences or railroad tracks. North Hammond, like much of Northwest Indiana, is surrounded by vast industrial areas. I can never comprehend their size when I was a kid. It's hard to gain perspective when the tallest things are the church and the electrical towers. Signs of industry were of course all around. My block eventually dead-ended into huge oil tanks. My baseball field was in the shadow of a manufacturing plant. My paper route was parallel to the power lines. No one seemed to really give it much thought. Finding raw places to explore was a daily adventure. A friend of mine discovered one of them when we were 11 years old. He called it Paradise. But it turned out to be a former Cold War missile base on the very southeast edge of Chicago. We called it the Nike base, but it is now known as the William W. Powers State Recreation Area. and is the only place I know of that you could hunt within the city of Chicago. My friends and I would go there, hang out, catch turtles, swim, explore. It always seemed cool that it was a former missile base. We had heard that some of the ponds were actually control centers that were blown up, imploded, and filled with water. Of course, no one could verify this. This area still has a certain epic beauty. I often wonder how polluted the water is and I wonder if there's a way to find out. When we were older, we'd still explore the fringe wilderness. The scenery was great. The places also had an element of danger. They could be lawless places to do reckless things. We could go a little wild if the mood took us. We were teenagers and felt like outlaws in these places. The entire Calumet region has many leftover pockets of wilderness. The state of Illinois currently is working to create an intricate network of preserves in the area. The hope is to draw ecotourism to the region. The leftover land in Indiana continues to be developed. Land can always be useful for something.